VTRANS says tomorrow's snowfall, the first snowfall of the season, is a little different than the first snowfall of the season their plow crews are used to. They say usually the first snowfall consists of light and fluffy snow that's easy to just brush off of the roads, but tomorrow's snow will be wet and heavy, which is a little bit harder to just plow off of the roadways. It tends to pack, which we call cake or pack. Uh, it looks like a white sheeting on the road. It, you can feel it on your tires. Sometimes it's bumpy. Uh, if it was a dry snow, it would tend to just blow to the sides of the roads and pack very little. VTRANS scouts will monitor road conditions overnight and their full crews will be out by 3 or 4 a.m. The agency still experiencing significant staffing shortages with 50 vacancies. However, they've still got every truck covered by using temporary drivers. VTRANS is doing everything we can. You can see the plows and the wings are on the trucks. We're out in the uh, yard right now loading them up with salt and liquid salt. And uh, we prepare on being, uh, we're preparing to be on top of this first thing in the morning. VTRANS has more than enough salt to kick off the season, but Barrytown had a slight change of course with the temporary closure of the close to home salt distributor. The distributor that happens to be in, or happened to be in Washington County. Um, is not distributing salt this year. So we've signed a letter of um, a letter of agreement with the, the company that um, sells its salt through the distributor out of Chittenden County. With the price of salt up an 11% increase from last year, Barrytown manager Carl Rogers is happy they have a shed full of salt right now. A salt shortage isn't a concern in the town of Essex. Public Works Highway Superintendent Dan Roberge is more concerned about a possible rail strike that could lead to a shortage in diesel fuel used to both fuel their trucks and deliver salt. We're told there could be a possible shortage uh, or they might not be able to get diesel fuel, so um, just something we're watching closely and, and keeping a close eye on. And with the first snowfall of the season approaching, the town of Essex and VTRANS would like to remind drivers to not crowd the plow. Like VTRANS, Essex says they are anticipating to have trucks out on the roads by 3 or 4 a.m. I'm live in Williston, Kristen Ray, NBC5 News.